So hello, my name is Glenn, and I will be your horror story for this evening. So anyway, uh, we're talking about the Vietnamese coin release, the $2, uh, the silver $2, which is uh, very interesting. And then we have the two 50 cent coins. So, uh, sorry, I'm just getting on their website. So, obviously, oh, no, it's not going to show. Damn. Oh, well. Anyway, that was a white screen, better than a green screen. So, we have the $2 with uh, 80000 They still sold out for 15 bucks. We have the silver one, $80, 5000 and the two, God, please, no, you don't want to show it. Uh, the two fifty cent coins, the whale, humpback whale, and the emperor penguin, and they also sold out. So I think they're going to be more popular next time. Actually, they look actually quite nice. The color of the fifty cent coins. The two dollar coin, uh, to me, it just looks like trash. I mean, I wasn't. That interested in buying it if I actually got it good for me if not yeah I'm not really too concerned about it but I did get the 250 cent coins not from the REM website because of uh, you know the stuff up this has been going on for decades so I'm not surprised about this 2016 I, I, they were Oh, let me get them out. So in 2016, they made these ones, which they sold for about $35. And these only actually increased in price. Uh, so afterwards, these increased in price. I think they doubled, and then they went down back to issue price. Uh, and these were made to order, so people ordered them. And then... They said they weren't going to make any more of those coins. But afterwards, the Royal Australian Mint decided to actually produce more of them. So they pretty much lied. And then they also put them in PNCs. So uh, they pretty much deceived. And, you know, that was six, seven years ago. So really, I'm not surprised about this. And the only reason why this is good is that the... Two twenty cent coins have uh, different effigies, so that's all right. So yeah, ever since then, I've never really had any faith in the Royal Australian Mint. So I try and avoid from buying them at all costs. I shifted my coins, so that's why I buy world coins. So like Danish coins here, uh, got an Albanian one link. So. Uh, that's my coin collection. I'm probably going to move into more medieval coins. A lot of those have not gone up in price. Not like Roman and Greek coins. Anyway, so how was the queuing system? Queuing system was actually quite good, wasn't it? I got on at about 9, 10 in the morning. And I think I got let in about 10 o'clock at night. So that's over 12 hours. I've seen other horror stories that people... Waiting four hours, painting ten hours, and what I've noticed is that uh, it says an average time. Sometimes it'll bump you down to fifty minutes, and then uh, you know you refresh it and it'll go back. Oh, sorry, it's over an hour again. So uh, the system's pretty much crap, really. So uh, and also, please don't get upset with the sellers. So. A lot of them put long posts on Facebook and they have said, well, our allocation has been reduced. So even though the mintage has increased, the allocation to sellers has decreased. So maybe the percentage that they get is the same, but maybe they've reduced it. So before probably it was like 50%. This is just a guess. And maybe they've reduced it to 25%. So the mint actually sells more of the product, gets more of the cash. Bling, bling, bling. Bling for the mint. 
Uh, and I read that the prices that sellers uh, get them for, coin shops should I say, uh, official sellers, is between ten fifty for larger sellers, so those that sell a lot of product, to about 13 to $14 for smaller sellers. So that indicates to me it's just not really worth selling this type of product so they don't make any margins and because of that uh, and because of the reduced number of product they're getting uh, they put people who buy more product from their shop first so loyal customers uh, a lot of them have actually a lot of the good ones anyway have decided if they come in and ask for that to be reserved they're going to reserve it for them so if you go there and you're not a regular customer then you're just going to miss out i agree with that now look after your people who look after you who buy from you uh, so just don't go there and complain some people have been doing it and you know mark from purple penny saying that uh he had one person who he obviously won a lot of product probably and they just complain to him no nah, just don't do that to if you can't get any product and they don't know you uh, then that's your problem don't complain so just go to your regular coin shop get to know them and uh, if it's a good coin shop they'll look after you Okay, so, uh, yeah, the queuing system, you know, but we still have this problem of people getting quite a lot of product and a lot of uh, other people missing out. And then, oh, another thing. Oh, they actually had them on for about two to $400 on eBay, even before 8 30 before they actually started to officially sell them that's with all the product i think the 50 cent coins are like one to two hundred dollars uh, and i the silver coin currently is up to eight hundred dollars so really uh, my advice would be if you can't get them for release price uh, to try and reduce the people who are trying to make it into business or uh, then just don't buy after release price. There's lots of other products. There's lots of other mints out there. You've got Austrian, US, you've got the UK mint, you've got Russian mint, Chinese mints, Indian mint, uh, you've got South African mint. Just got a lot of different choices out there. Not only that, you've got, you know, coins that were issued earlier. So here we have, uh, here's my Polish coins. So you can actually buy... Yeah, you know, it's a 10 Zloty. Very nice coin. You can buy world coins. Lots of world coins. Uh, do I have an earlier one? There should be a silver one there. Yeah, silver 200 Zloty. So, you can actually buy a lot of different coins from around the world. So, and you can also buy pre-decimal pennies. You know, it's just very interesting. Uh, so... You need to oh, not put too much emotion into this. So a lot of people were like FOMO, like fear of missing out. I'm going to miss out, I'm going to miss out. And then 10 months later going, oh, I bought this two months ago. I forgot all about it. So that's why the prices now have pretty much gone up to two, three hundred bucks. Uh, but they're like... The, the poppy poppy went up to like 400 bucks now it's down to 200 so these are going to crash in price don't buy it now wait for i don't know four to six months they should come down in price when next release actually is released and the people were going oh i forgot all about that coin and people were chasing ever stuff so yes yeah, so we've got prices queuing system some and, you know, I think there's a lot of problems with some places. Probably selling 
some of it at, you know, the release price. And it's what I've also heard is that these coin sellers, the release price is, you know, it's not part of the contract. So they can actually sell them for how much they want. Uh, but maybe to stop people from selling bulk lots of them, they Royal Australia Mint should just sell these products themselves. That's it. And limit it to like one per household and probably increase the actual mintage. So, 180,000, it's not, it's not a rare coin. It's, that's classed as a common coin. Uh, and, oh, what, what else we got? Okay. Yep, so, what do you think about these people? I think it was a shit show, quite frankly. Ah. Uh, Royal Australian Mint, they tried, they're trying with the queuing system, uh, obviously, because there's so much demand, they need to fix that up still, uh, they need to probably limit to one product per customer, or household, or whatever, uh, obviously they're not going to get eliminate 100% people scalping, and maybe eBay needs to not allow this product to be listed for probably at least a month afterwards. That would be good, but we know eBay, they just care about the money. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Uh, let me know what you think about the Handset coin. And it's... Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Thank you and goodbye.